Hey everyone, my name is V and I play Tori in When Are We Getting Married Season 2. Make sure you don't miss out on the fun. Subscribe to Red TV on YouTube to feel the heat. Ever since I know your name, you struck me on this cloud for a joy ride. Hope every kiss would be the same, and every hug would last forever with you. That it will never happen again. Agnes was screaming at me. I, I had to... I don't want myself. to hear it! You're not welcome in this house. As long as you come here to disrespect my wife, I will not take any excuses from you. I will not tolerate it! See, let me just explain. Just let go explain. back to whoever it is that, 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 that is encouraging you to talk back to your own father. Go back! Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm heartbroken. I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad all the time. I'm sad. I'm sorry. Young woman, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I don't know. I will be the first to admit that I haven't been a perfect father. Your mother, when she was alive, she helped me a lot with the bringing up of the children. That was why I completely lost it when she passed. That's probably why, rather than draw you close, when we realized that you were living with a man and you lied about it, I, I shot you out. Your mother, oh God bless her soul, she would have negotiated that issue much better than I did. I miss her too, Daddy. Despite my failures as a father, you never spoke rudely to me, not once. It didn't matter how many special events I missed out on. It didn't even matter how many times I judged you unfairly. You were never rude to me, and you never spoke to me in an undignified manner. I could never. Then why are you doing it to my wife? Agnes? Oh, do I have another? Baby, your food is ready. Should I serve it? Uh, later, huh? Eh? Later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, baby, you know I only eat when you're there, so if I start, I won't even be able to eat now. So, come, I'm very hungry. Let me serve it now. Honey, please. Um, mm. I will let you know when I want to eat. I'm talking to my daughter now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, honey, baby, um, do you want water or juice? Honey, I will let you know when I want to eat. Now excuse us. Okay. Be fast though, I'm waiting. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Agnes just she doesn't get it. She doesn't even try to get it. It's always what she wants, when she wants it. And then she would report to you at the slightest inconvenience. She doesn't even just try to figure us out on her own. Agnes is doing her best. You have to realize that she's a young woman herself and she's just trying to navigate her role. It's not easy to be married to a man who has two grown-up, smart, and intimidating daughters. Very intimidating. In every way possible. I guess it can't be easy to deal with that. Agnes is not your enemy. 
She's fighting her demons like the rest of us. And even if she wasn't, she is my wife. She's an extension of me. Whatever it is you do to her, you're doing it to me. Do you get it? I guess I, I, I never saw it that way. I bet you never did. But now you do. Okay, now, enough about me. What is it? What is it that's eating at you? What, what's responsible for these frequent outbursts? Now, for the first time, I'm calm enough. I want to know. So just tell me the whole story. You're joking, right? It's a lie. It's not a lie. Just yarn me. Give me the full yarn. What the hell is it? Don't be so nice to talk So, yarn me. Then he said that he was getting married to her and that I deserve someone better. Wow, that's a lot of drama. My love life is epic, Daddy. Oh, you can say that again, epic indeed. But why would he all of a sudden say he wants to get married to this person? You did say he said that this was the biggest mistake of his life, didn't he? That's what he said. Well, I've met his mother. It's possible she's putting pressure on him to marry Dotun, that woman. I wouldn't put it past her. I can understand overbearing parents. But what I don't get is, why would she want him to marry someone he says he doesn't love? There's got to be something to it. Maybe she has something on him. It's... You, you mentioned that he seemed a bit off, right? Very. He seemed trapped. Exactly. So, what if he's been blackmailed? What if he got this girl pregnant and now she's forcing him to stay with her? Oh, my God. Is everything all right? I think I just figured it out. Daddy, you're a genius. <laughs> you deserve a hug. <laughs> I'm so glad I finally get to open up to you again. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Where are you off to? I'm going to Tori's. I might not be back tonight. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's probably pregnant. That's why he feels so bad about not having a child. Mm -mm. Trust me, that baby's not pregnant. Not with the bottles she was chugging at the club last night. What? I follow her stories. They're entertaining. I'm able. Guys. Do I need to be a part of this conversation? Yes, my darling cousin, because you have nowhere else to go. But we know that Dotsun isn't particularly responsible, so she can actually be pregnant and still drinking that one. Or she could be faking it. Can people even do that? Eh? Yes. People do it. Are you joking? People fake pregnancies all the time. But my cousin over here can search her browser history for a smoking gun. No, I can't. Tori, you're a lawyer. You know that that's illegal. It's literally a person's privacy. I did not ask you to hack her email. Just um, searching of smoking gun and then we'll be out before they even know we were there. Or what if she's blackmailing Fenwa for something he did? Uh, it is. Mm -hmm. Has Fenwa ever done anything slightly shady? <sighs> Fenwa isn't that kind of person. But I do know that he got into a bad money deal that ultimately led to his attack. And Dotun has money. What if she bailed him out? True. He went to IB to get her to talk to her uncle for him. Hmm. This could be it. 
Um, maybe we should try the email thing. Like a word search. I need to soak my soul in bleach after all of this. Relax, Sonny. This babe, she's terrible. Doesn't mean what we're doing is still okay. See, Sonny, please, just do it for me. Hmm. What? Did you see something? Is this suspicious? <laughs> I could kiss you right now. Don't do that. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I, thank you. We did it. Find your man. We'll take care of things here. Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Uh -uh. Don't sound big. I'm not in the mood that big. It's you, Death. Yeah, so they're in the living room with her, making sure that she doesn't do anything stupid like last time. <laughs> Fenwa, I know that that baby's crazy, but are you that scared of her? I'm not scared of her. I'm just tired and defenseless. Mm. I mean, I've listened to the voice note you sent me like over a hundred times. You missed my voice. Get out, Joe. I could just tell that you were really sad. I meant every word. It's just unfortunate what happened between us, you know. I know now that you're the one that saved me, you're the one that found me. After everything that I did to you, I don't think I deserve that. No, nothing. Wa. You deserve good things too. I don't think I do. If I had just attended your dad's event, we would still be together by now. It was more than just that. We were already in a very delicate place. From you not wanting to get married, or have kids, or introduce me to your folks, you keeping secrets, dotun. It's just a lot of stuff. Yeah, but me not going to the church, that was the final straw. And then not letting you know why, that's just unfair. I've never told anybody this. My mom, when we were much younger, she used to love to go to prayer houses and churches. She used to argue with my dad a lot, so church was like her escape, like her solace. So my brothers were off to boarding school. I used to follow her for it was just me and her, and these endless church services. One day, she had one of these long church meetings that wouldn't end. So one of the pastors asked me to come and chill in his office while I was waiting for her. <laughs> he gave me meat pie and a drink. I remember thinking to myself, oh, this is a very nice man. All I remember is I woke up to my mom yelling, screaming at the pastor. It was even my mom's shout that woke me up. Why, why, why was she shouting? It turns out that he had drugged me. And while I was asleep, he, un he undressed me. Laughing well. 
What did he do to you? He wasn't successful. I think. At least that's what my mom told me. I don't know if maybe she just didn't want to scar me. My mom still goes to another branch of that church, but me, I have never set foot back in one since then. So when you asked me to go to church, you should have told me. I think what I could have understood. I've made so many mistakes. I made so many mistakes in our relationship. I, 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 can't, I can't take it back. It's too late now. That's why I'm here. But if I told you there was still hope? How so? <laughs> this baby's funny. <laughs> mm, people have no shame. I told her I was going to win, and I did. What did she do? She brought her friends to come and fight me. Mm. Why can't she come and face me woman to woman by herself? And see what happens. Where are you going to? You're going to regret this, you hear me? I will make you regret this. <laughs> Are you sure the pregnancy was fake? I told you what we saw. <laughs> she googled faking a pregnancy result. He saw me helped us find her search history. What? But, but she she threw up. She threw up. Did you actually see her throw up? Well, yeah, but I, I heard I heard noises. I heard the noise of. Uh... Okay. Did you get a test from the doctor confirming the pregnancy? Oh, uh, why you've been manipulated yet again. Trust me, it gets worse. <laughs> what could be worse than this? Dotson was the one that arranged the attack, not Mr. Komolafe or any of your other clients. We saw a text chain between her and Mr. Komolafe. He was also in her call logs. I got curious and then I decided to call him for a meetup. <sighs> I was really, really disappointed in Fewa. Such a promising young man that he ended up like the others. Fraudulent and dishonest. Sir, I promise you, Fenwa is not a bad person. Has he refunded your money? Well, uh, I was paid by one of his clients, Miss Odeleye by name. So she only reached out to you to pay you? You know her? Um, she's more of an acquaintance. Frankly speaking, I wasn't expecting to hear anything from her again, offering to pay. What, what do you mean, again? She had earlier reached out to me that she was one of those Fenwa's company was owing, and I would need her to come together to do something. Do something? Yes, uh, threaten him or something. I thought she meant legally. I even called my lawyer to sue. But when I saw that she was meeting more violent means, I stopped responding to her messages. Not until a few months ago that I saw a message requesting to offset Fenwa's debt. How exactly did she insinuate? She talked about some riffraffs, said he will help us to undo our debtors. You know, teach him a lesson that he will never forget. I can't believe I slept with this woman. I was going to marry her. You didn't know. I think I'm going to be sick. Fenwa, just calm down. Calm down and be grateful that you found out the truth before it was too late. And my mom, do you think she knew? Haba, I don't think your mom would intentionally put you in harm's way. But she denied it when I asked if you came to the hospital to check on me. What if she's in on it with Dotson? What if she knows, knows the whole story? And I mean, the whole thing about fake pregnancy, all people are meant to know these things now, aren't they? So yes, she did some wrong, but I'm sure that she had good intentions. See, look, if your mom knew that Dotson was bad, that she was dangerous for you, she would never 
have joined forces with her. Give her some grace. Now, we are going to expose Dotson for the criminal that she is and get you out of this prison. Thank you for doing all this. Of course, come on, Ola Fenwa. Regardless of what happened between us, you know that I'll always have your back, right? Mm -hmm. 